Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Well, we're going to do a quick speed test between the Surface Pro 6 i5 model and the Surface Pro 7 i5 model. Both are 8 gigabyte machines, and I have the pen, the standard Microsoft Surface Pen, not my preference, which is the Raphael 5, which is a two button pen. And I'll put a link for this in the description. So we're using the standard pen. We have the pressure set to 7 in the Surface app. And we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. It's a 5,000 pixel brush uh, at 70% 70 70 hardness. And this is the default round brush. Uh, so we're going to change the colors and do that again. And we're going to change the colors one more time. Here just to show the canvas size, we're going to go to image, canvas size, and you can see here um, what the, the pixels, you can see 10,000 by 10,000, and the DPI is set at 300. 286 megabyte file, by the way. All right, and this is the Surface Pro 7. You can do the same thing, again, using the same uh, stock Windows pen, and from top to bottom, medium pressure, and let's pick a different color. And let's, let's pick one more color. Uh, let's do green. I don't know why that one was so especially slow. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the image size here, canvas size. You can see here, again, this is set at uh, 10,000 pixels by 10,000 pixels. The brush on both of these is uh, the standard round brush, 70% hardness, size is maxed out at seven, at 5,000. We're gonna add one more detail to this test. We're gonna turn on airplane mode on both. Uh, because I have, uh, this is a brand new computer, it's got a lot of downloading and other things going on in the background. So we're gonna try this again. With the same setup using the Surface Pen on the Surface Pro 7. This is the i5 model. And this seems to be working better. I had quite a few problems with this before I updated to the newest version of uh, 1903 uh, Windows 10. All right, so let's uh, change color. Interesting. So I did this test probably 25 to 30 times, and for about 85% of the tests, the Surface Pro 6 actually beat the Surface Pro 7, and they are entirely different chips. Um, but then in the latter half of the night, I redid the test because I feel like something is not right when the ice lake is not winning. And so I redid the tests and um, had it in airplane mode. And that had nothing to do with it, but the Surface Pro 7 uh, won. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure what the other variables are. If anyone has any ideas on why the Surface Pro 6 or Surface Pro 7 uh, keep jumping in performance here, uh, please let me know. So what does all of that mean? Um, I don't know. It's not super clear yet uh, which one is more powerful. I did probably 10 hours of testing in a bunch of different games in Photoshop, um, and I could not define with any certainty which one was the clear performance leader. And for a chipset that's touted as having twice the graphical performance, which I interpret to mean um, not 50% better frame rates, but uh, double the frame rates. That's something that I am not seeing at all. And I tested in Crisis 2, I tested in 
uh, rise of the Tomb Raider, I tested in Ori in the Blind Forest, and there was a number of tests where the Surface Pro 6 outperformed the Surface Pro 7. And then it would flip-flop. So I'm, I'm not sure. And if you do buy the Surface Pro 7 right now, then I would just keep your expectations appropriate and just know that there may be some driver updates. Um, in fact, I, I did a driver update. I tried to do a driver update from Intel and updated the Bluetooth, um, or the uh, Wi-Fi adapter and broke it. <laughs> and I had to do a full system reset. And it said that the Intel uh, graphics driver that there was an update for uh, was not uh, allowed to be installed on the Surface Pro 7. So I don't know. Uh, anyway, I just want to keep you guys informed of what I'm finding out while I'm finding it out instead of trying to be completely 100% um, sure of everything beforehand because I, I just think we're not going to be there for a little while. All right, um, hopefully this was useful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.